Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Guest Speaker, Professor John Cotsey, Academic Staff of the University, Distinguished Guests, Fellow Graduates, Fellow Musicians, Mes Camarades de Francais, Ladies and Gentlemen, Mum and Dad. <laughs> After five years of full-time study, I am proud to say that I know very little. <laughs> Thanks to my spell in the Faculty of Arts, I now appreciate the magnitude of my pre-tertiary ignorance. During these five years of study, this ignorance evolved into great black patches of nothingness that teased me every time I attended a new lecture series. My one comfort now is that I know and accept this nothingness's existence. With this knowledge, I believe that if I mix in a generous splash of more time, a touch of conscious effort, and a pinch of more study, the hulking darkness will eventually become dotted with tiny specks of light. American novelist Henry Miller wrote, in expanding the field of knowledge, we but increase the horizon of ignorance. My horizon stretches as far as my eye can see, and that's with my glasses on. I believe that this is an experience shared by all present, including those with fancier robes. <laughs> this afternoon here in the UQ Centre, there are three schools from the Faculty of Arts represented. The School of English, Media Studies and Art History, the School of Languages and Comparative Cultural Studies, and the School of Music. <laughs> Apart from a love of coffee, and the Gallery of Modern Art, what do we have in common? <laughs> After much reflection, I found the answer for all UQ students. We share one thing. ECPs. <laughs> Electronic Course Profiles. ECPs are the Bible of your studies, as they provide the chapter and verse for every course offered by the University. Unlike the Bible, ECPs should be taken literally. <laughs> In light of my newfound ignorance and our shared experiences of ECPs, I decided to complete a thorough and academically rigorous Google search in pursuit of another electronic profile of a course that would address our collective ignorance. I found the course. It's called Learning Initiatives for Eternity 1010, or more simply, Life 1010. It's the cornerstone course for being a contented person. And as with any meaningful study, it is a humanities course offered through the Community Access Program. Here are the salient points of Life 1010 from its course profile. One. General course information. This course intends to look at every facet of our lives as an opportunity for learning and the getting of wisdom. Lecturers and tutors are not designated for this course. Instead, students are expected to seek mentors throughout the course of, to guide their learning. In particular, the support and guidance offered by, by motivated teachers, hilarious friends, family, and especially parents are noted as invaluable and, while not always appreciated, should be thanked for their tutoring and occasional lecturing. <laughs> the identity of the course coordinator for Life 1010 is unknown and also disputed. The sole prerequisite for Life 1010 is the compulsory beginning of rearing and nurturing 1010, otherwise known as born 1010. In response to feedback, for this course, the Lectopia online lecture recordings will no longer be replaced by reality television. <laughs> Two, aims and objectives. This course has one goal, to be amiably aimless, so as to allow students to determine their aims and goals for Life 1010. 
free learning resources. It is hoped that all who participate in this course have access to water, shelter and food. It is sadly noted that this is not necessarily the case for all students of Life 1010. There are suggested reading, viewing and listening lists in circulation for this course. Life 1010 does not dictate any particular list. However, it is advised that students seek the guidance of their chosen mentor for the best choice of resources. Four, learning activities. Innumerable learning activities will take place throughout Life 1010 until completion culminating with the enrollment in Doubting Everything and Denial 1010. Or more simply, Dead 1010. <laughs> it is noted that not all learning activities will have a positive outcome, and students should be aware that negative outcomes, while painful, are of great benefit. The learning of a language and of a musical instrument and of overseas travel enrich the study of this course. It is strongly suggested, if not already the case, that some of these activities should take place in a higher education environment, both at an undergraduate and postgraduate level. The University of Queensland is ranked highly. <laughs> Five, assessment. All assessment for Life 1010 is formative and marked solely on participation. Six, policy and guidelines. Each student must decide their own moral and ethical code. Again, the advice of mentors should be sought as needed. Voila, life 1010. From this allegory, I hope a speck of light gleams in your nothingness. After all, finding meaning in all places is one of the many skills that study in the humanities gives you. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I thank you all, be you lecturers, tutors, administrators, family, parents, partners, lovers, and friends, for supporting us in our pursuit of shining light on the darkness. I hope to see you all in Life 1010, and in case I don't, bon voyage. Chancellor, I'm pleased to introduce the School of Music 